experience comes from experience. What it really is, is a prediction. What you think is going to happen will happen. And so even in statistics, what is your confidence metric? This is 0 0.7, 0 0.8. It's literally just what the percentage likelihood that what you think is going to happen is going to happen. And so how do you increase the likelihood that what you think is going to happen is going to happen? Have it have happened already. I could have either spent 30 minutes every day looking at myself in the mirror and telling myself I was going to be a great sales guy, or I could have reviewed the fucking script. Which one do you think would get, make me a better salesperson? Reviewing the script. You can take all the time that you're trying to spend psyching yourself up, and you'll feel significantly more confident not having done that and simply knowing what you're going to say, which you get from practice. The world belongs to the... So one of the things that i wanted really to talk about in this video is the fact that we can all argue argue that you know self-improvement motivation all those kind of stuff they have their limits right it's just the buzz because everybody's talking about it it makes you feel good you start doing the work but you know probably the statistics the society your environment all of the things that can affect you outside of yourself can make you not be successful or reach the levels that you want you know all the things that you can't control which is true and i won't disagree that the world is vast we're all different and things just <clears throat> sometimes click sometimes it doesn't but also not having those mindset i think it's also a problem because it's also a problem because you run the risk of becoming much more complacent much more lazy i would say and not put in what you need to put in or intentionally put in the work that you need to put in right i can still go to the gym and always show up you know always be consistent but not really putting the work that i need to put in to get the result that i want to get actually right so i'm all for mindfulness i'm all for being present and being in the moment and then you know making things happen within the moment so that we don't dwell too much in the future and too much in the past but can we apply that with more of self-improvement how we can get better through the present right is that we got the present here this is where we're supposed to do the work we we'll make the choice to do what we need to do before we move forward instead of choosing to pretty much completely avoid the work or what you need to do and then saying that you know it will solve its, itself in the future those are things that i told myself in those couple of months and those are excuses that i was making and they are pretty much that some of them are valid depending on the situation and all this kind of stuff but it's just always the grinding like that mindset that i really want it right i really want to make something of myself and i don't want to stop or I don't want anything that will corrupt how I think to make me accept less of what I can do. So that, you know, I don't want later on to have excuses for why I didn't do what I'm supposed to do. I didn't reach the potential that I think that I had. You get what I'm saying? Those who can keep doing without seeing the result that they're doing. And the longer you can wait to see the result to those who can keep doing without seeing the result. This one is a good one too. The world belongs to those who can keep doing without seeing the result of what they are doing. This one is pretty much it applies into to anything that will make you successful or that will be good at. The simple example would just be going to the gym, right? If you just start going to the gym like any of us, you are not going to see the result the first day that you go in, the first month that you go in, the first three months, you are not probably going to see the result, right? But the result that you want will come as you just keep doing what you are doing without seeing the result because it's about the rep. That's the same thing. Like That's the same idea with uh, YouTube, podcast, you know, businesses. And in many instances, I'm not gonna lie, I've quit things halfway. I've because I was so result oriented in the things I was doing that it plagued my growth. Like even though I had potential in doing those things, it plagued my growth when things get harder, when I'm not seeing the result, when I'm not getting the validation that I wanted, when you know I can't give other people the straight answer that, you know, these things I'm doing is working without giving them the intricacy of how hard this thing is, is and I'm, how I'm trying to figure it out and all this kind of stuff. 
there have been instant like this and i don't want any more of those instant personally right i've started a business a taco business it was working but then you know it was working i got a couple of sales you know i was selling some i got a couple of sales i got some party events for 500 300 bucks in, you know a weekend and stuff like that but then i stopped because things started to get harder because my car broke down it cost me more to sell to, to fix your car so i decided to sell every equipment that i have for the business you know i didn't have a location for myself a, 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 a business kitchen or you know a restoration kitchen type of thing you know i those excuses were valid oh i didn't have a restaurant i didn't have my own house i didn't have my own uh you know kitchen for the business so i cannot do it the car is down so let's just sell the thing and then go fix your car uh go fix your car or sell the car too so once i sell the truck i buy a new uh a, a normal car well i cannot do any of those things without the truck the progress I was focusing so much on the money, like, you know, how I would say, oh, I'm making 500 bucks in a weekend instead of working, uh, working less hour instead of, you know, working for someone else and all this kind of stuff. But I just couldn't keep going when things got harder. Same thing with YouTube, right? I was making video at the beginning. It was, it wasn't really working. I was much more focused on, I was just, I was. You know interested with the idea of like making videos and you know figuring it out figuring out how youtube works it was like a game right and then at some point it started taking off i started trying different things videos start popping and stuff like that then the doubt comes in can you keep this growth going can you keep making such good video do you have any idea of like what your next video is gonna be and then bam i let the doubt in i let it mess up with my mindset Instead of focusing on like, you know, my growth and that, okay, this is a hard time. This is, we will figure this thing out. We got to keep it true. We make better decisions, cut stuff, cut costs, cut your expenses, do stuff differently. I literally just stop, right? And it's even harder coming back after months of months of not doing it. You are like, Will these people even be there when I come in? But it's not even about the people that are being there. It's about doing it until you see the result. Because if what I'm saying in the in my video, I believe in them and I think they are valuable. They are valuable lessons that I learned for myself. I'm pretty sure that someone else that will watch this video will also get those value. But it's just up to me to keep producing, keep doing it, understanding it better, make better thumbnail, better title, right? better lighting better camera and all this kind of stuff so that's that's specifically what we're you know while still 